Chris, uh, great to have you joining us for this coffee chat. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your role and association with uh, Auscham? Sure, Lee. So yeah, my name's Chris McLaughlin. I, I work for a company called uh, Blue Scope, who I'll assume most people are familiar with. And uh, I'm the regional uh, manager for manufacturing excellence working across Asia. Um, I've been in Thailand now for four years and um, became involved with Auscham, the Australian Thai Chamber of Commerce, uh, not long after arriving in Thailand and uh, was a vice president and, and became president uh, a little bit earlier this year. Um, so I'm looking after uh, approximately sort of 400 members at the moment and just trying to help promote uh, more trade between Australia and Thailand and help Australians set up and be successful in Thailand also. I thought I'd uh, ask some questions uh, for the people online to understand a bit more about what's happening in Thailand and with Auscham Thailand. Um, so I'll kick off by asking, now, um, you've had uh, an association with Thailand for, for quite a number of years. Um, in your view, what are some of the really interesting aspects of, of the Thai business culture that you've experienced? I think you really need to start with the people. So just the the warmth that you'll get from Thai people, and you know we call it the the land of smiles. And certainly within a business environment, you'll be uh, very welcomed, and and the willingness of the people to develop and learn is is really encouraging. Um, very different to you know a, a meeting in Victoria. You'll spend you know the first sort of five or ten minutes talking about the AFL and. And what's happening? The the small talk is very different. So you know, tyres will spend a lot of time talking about uh, what they've just eaten, what they're about to eat, and and, and what they're thinking of eating later. So gin gin cow young, which means have you eaten yet? Essentially, is a is a greeting. And um, if you can think of the, the the coffee, the AFL, and the food culture in Melbourne, just sort of all wrapped up into one, sort of gives you. An appreciation for how important food is in uh, within the Thai culture, and so that you know the small talks obviously very different as a result of that. Um, I'd also just encourage people to leverage the capability uh, and the knowledge that we have within Austrade um, across uh, across the region and also in Thailand, and then also Austram. So you know tapping into the business chambers to make it easier to. Um, uh, develop those connections that you need to get your business going and be successful in the long run. Oh, that's excellent. So tell me, apart from the, the coffee in the AFL, um, <laughs> which is some obvious uh, uh, exports we might bring from, from Victoria up to Thailand, uh, but what are some of the, the, the trends or, you know, uh, business practices, innovations, technology, you know, what are some things you, you think we could bring from, Th uh, from Victoria to Thailand? Yeah, look, there's been, there's been such strong growth in Thailand over many years that you know, there's um, finding the right number of you know, highly skilled and highly technical people to support all of that growth has been a challenge. So I think um, um, technical knowledge and, and, and know-how is absolutely something that uh, foreign businesses rely on to help upskill and develop sort of local teams and uh, develop that capability within their own business. Uh, you know, you, you'll have uh, examples where uh, the the front office of a business may be in Australia and the back office or the manufacturing is in Thailand. And um, certainly in the early stages, uh, people will rely on that that knowledge and that technical know-how and uh, just to help build strong uh, business discipline and uh, within a manufacturing environment, strong operational and, and manufacturing discipline. Okay, that's really interesting. So um, look, it's been a, a, a long haul, uh, obviously uh, with COVID uh, across the region uh, and, and Thailand, certainly no exception. At present, what's keeping you up at night? Um, is there anything in particular that Auscham Thailand's working on right now? Yeah, so COVID's the obvious one, right? And uh, I think it's keeping a lot of people up all around the world. Um, so for, for Auscham Thailand, we, we have three pillars, um, connections, business and community. And the uh, the connections and the business has, has continued in a different format. We're, we're online a lot now to uh, to help maintain our connections and, uh, and keep our businesses going like a lot of people around the world. But um, it's presented us an opportunity to focus our efforts to the community that we're operating in. Uh, we've recently run an initiative where uh, we've 
uh, put together care packages for uh, people that really need it out within the Thai community and out in rural areas. So um, people that are unemployed um, and uh, people that are you know experiencing a lot of hardship on the back of COVID. So uh, essentially they're uh, 1,000 baht uh, value uh, boxes of, of essential uh, goods that people will need. Um, and we're in the process uh, Saturday, we're packing up another 600 of those. So that'll be 1,200 in total that we've, uh, that we've pulled together and sent out to uh, needy families in Thailand. So we're really proud of that initiative and supported strongly by uh, uh, all of our members and sponsors, but uh, supported very strongly by Lin Fox, who's uh, you know, obviously a, another great Victorian company. Yeah, it's very commendable. Uh, you know, great to hear that uh, that initiative and, and I've heard about it from several sources. So it's clearly, um, clearly having an impact yeah, fantastic. Well, Chris, that's great. Look, thanks for speaking to us today. It's good to chat and um, really happy that we can be associated with uh, Ostrachan Thailand uh, here at Global Victoria. So, um, you know, wish you all the best, all the best for the Chamber and your business endeavours. Fantastic, Lee. Thanks for your support.